Hi everyone, Hayden from Little Green Alien. As you know, um, I'm a Toy Story collector. I collect all the stuff from the movies and all that. But before I was a Toy Story collector, and you know, before I stopped playing with my toys, I did play with them. And from when I was young, there were some toys that I held on to and some that I didn't. So here's a few that I held on to. I just kind of thought maybe some of you would be interested in seeing what toys I had when I was a kid. Because now I kind of talk about like ones that I have now. Like because I collect Toy Story stuff just to do reviews, to make stop motion, you know, whatever. Not really to play with them. Uh, but when I was a kid, that's all I bought were toys to play with. So, here's a few that I had. Um, I am going to start off with this giraffe. Um, when I was a kid, I really just kind of named my toys what they were. So, this is just giraffe. Like, I think I got him at like a zoo, a zoo or something. So, yeah, this is giraffe. Um, uh, then next, I have... I didn't really... This one really never had a name. It was just a big clownfish. I think I got it from a zoo yet again. Um, or actually, no, I got it from a yard sale, but it was from a zoo. Because it said on the tag. So, then next, I got this one at a fair. This is Kitty. Or sometimes, as I call it, Scooby, because Scooby's my cat. <laughs> He has a squeaker in him. So, yeah. Scooby, or Kitty. Kind of had, like, two names. Uh, speaking of kitties, this was Kitty Neck Pillow, I guess. Um, I'd always wear it on the plane. It was a neck pillow, and... Yeah, it's comfortable. Um, uh, right here. This is a... You know, I never really named this guy. I may have had a name for him when I was a kid, but I don't even remember. Um, pretty much, you can put other toys in him, uh, kind of like this alien. Of course, I had a little green alien when I was a kid. This is, like, the only one I had, but you tried redrawing the eyes because they were faded, but um, that just went wrong. You can see all the purple around his eyes. I'm not really sure why there's purple around there. But yeah, I had the little green alien, and I had the monster. Um, I was a big fan of the movie Finding Nemo, so from Disney World, I had this uh, Nemo plush. Uh, I'm assuming I got him at the gift shop at that Nemo ride at the Epcot Center. Um, another thing, I was really into Lego. So I kind of custom made my own character with extra, I had like an extra skeleton body. I don't even know where I got the eye from and a crown. So this is a, this is King Eyeball Man. I still remember that name. Um, so yeah, this is King Eyeball Man. Um, and then also when I was like really young, I was into the Teletubbies. So I had this Poe. Um, here, he actually does talk. Now, the next phrase on here is one that's a bit controversial. Um, yeah, I got him one year. I just, if you know what it is, you know what it is. I'm not going to play it because some people might not like it. So, I got him one year. I don't even remember what for, because I was, like, really young. Um, and, yeah, he, I guess, some story, some employee was, like, fired, and they were mad, so they, like, reprogrammed all the Poe toys to, like, swear. Um, so, yeah, I don't really know the whole story, but I just know, supposedly, he says some really hurtful things. But, you know, I was just a little kid. I'd never realized it until later in life. I was just like, oh, I wonder why he says that. As you know, you find your old toys. You just start, like, pressing their buttons. Um, next, I'm going to show two ones. So I had this SpongeBob. This was SpongeBob Shaky Pants. 
And that was just SpongeBob. Little plush. Now this one like actually talks. It's, oh no, it's the nose. Sometimes this doesn't always work. It's like you pull his tongue. I don't know why, but then you can shake him. Um, I, I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, I remember getting this for Christmas when I was in like second grade. Yeah, I was eight years old when I got this for Christmas, and I was like, "Holy crap, we saw this at Toys R Us!" Um, so yeah, th this this really brings back good memories because like some of those other toys, I got them when I was like really young, and some of them I don't even remember how I got them. But that is one that I definitely remember getting for Christmas. So up next, um, I have this sea turtle. You know, like, those people with, like, the glow-in-the-dark stars on their ceiling. Well, I had this. Um, I, I need to fix this button. Because it's, like, in and it won't work. But it would just kind of light up. It was pretty cool. Um, I really liked it. Um, so... Next, we have Shrek. He talks. Shut it, donkey! Donkey! Shut it, donkey! Um, yeah, I've had him for a while. I don't really remember where I got him. I think maybe my cousin gave it to me. I'm not really sure. I don't really remember where I got it. The vest is actually real material, which I think is pretty cool. And the hands are plush. The face is, like, hard plastic. Um, it's just, it's plush. It's it's actually, um, yeah, I, I really like this toy. Because I really like the movie Shrek. Just like every kid who was born like anywhere from like 2000 to 2005. You know, we all grew up on that stuff. Um, so next, um, this is Woody. And this is Buzz Lightyear. Uh, these were the first ones I ever had, the Hasbro Woody and the Hasbro Buzz Lightyear with the utility belt. So here are their phrases. I've repainted this so many times. Like, you can see I repainted the hair. I painted the little lines on his hat, too. Um, I repainted his spurs. I just... He's been through a lot. But I think he's in pretty good condition for how long I've had him. He was, yet again, one of those toys I don't even remember how I got. I think I got him at Toys R Us. But I was really young at the time. Because, I mean, I remember, like, playing with this thing when I was, like, four years old. Now, this Buzz, I do know how I got him. I got him, there was like, I don't even know, some swap meet in town or something. And it, he was on a blanket. I asked the lady, I'm like, how much you want for Buzz? And she's like, three bucks. And I'm like, sold. So, here are Buzz's phrases. To infinity and beyond. Be alert. Adventure can come from any direction. All right, Ranger. Which direction should we go? Mm, interesting. We better take a closer look at this. Looks like Serb was here. Um, here's his laser sounds, too. He actually has, I think, four. Yeah, he has four laser sounds. Um, he didn't, couldn't really do much. He doesn't have his wings, which I don't know why they didn't include them. Um, I mean, he's better than what was being released today. For Toy Story 4. Um, his helmet... It doesn't retract the full way, but I don't even think any of them do that. Um, yeah, I mean, he's not built like the greatest, but I really like him. Um, I just kind of, I just noticed like how on his, what's it called? I don't even know that thing right above his belt. He has like these little two circles. I don't really know if those are just how they built him or what. But yeah, this is um, 
I really like this Buzz Lightyear and this Woody, and they just, they're really special to me because they were the first ones I ever owned, and they were, like, my favorite childhood toys. Well, some of them. Well, we're going to get to my favorite one in a minute. Believe it or not, the ones from Toy Story weren't. So, these three have to go together. Um, so, if you know the movie Ice Age, there's this little character named Scrat, and I always thought that this looked like him. And it was a part of a cat toy. So I named him Scrap. And it's like with a P instead of a T. Ha 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 ha. Really funny. I don't know. I named him Scrap. So that's Scrap. And this is Froggy. And this is Froggy Jr. So pretty much these three I would always play with together. Froggy... Uh, this one right here was my favorite toy growing up. Um, and Froggy Jr. was like, I, I don't even know, just like a different version of Froggy. Like, it's Froggy, but without the blanket. And then Scrap is, um, you know, their friend or something. Um, oh, I would always record so many videos of me playing with them and just... If I could find them, that would be funny to watch. Um, so yeah, these were um, these were probably the toys I played with the most as a kid. Believe it or not, it, they weren't Toy Story toys. Um, I mean, I did play with Woody and Buzz a lot, but these ones were just like, you know, it's like, you know, Woody and Buzz are like Andy's toys, but like, these are my toys. Like, you know, like, I, just, I know Froggy, <laughs> none of them really can really do anything. number of times I have fixed this, or maybe even my grandma has fixed this. Yeah, my grandma has fixed this a couple times. It's just insane. One time, right here, when I look at this, I always remember that my grandma like sewed it back up because it was coming apart. And the silk on the bottom of him, oh no, this is fallen off so many times i just i just re-sewed it a little bit ago actually like uh, maybe a couple months ago um he's been through a lot one time specifically i remember i was in preschool i wasn't even in kindergarten yet and uh, i was walking home and when i got home i couldn't find him um i don't know i just guess i played with woody <laughs> This one, this Woody, that day, instead of Froggy, because I just, I couldn't find him. I'm like, I'll find him one day. Next day, um, my neighbor comes up to me, and he gives me, he gives me Froggy, tells me that he found him on, like, the side of the street, and I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> well, I mean, I probably didn't say that. Sorry, um, I'm trying to knock it on YouTube, kids. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um, I, I was like, it's froggy. So, yeah, I found froggy. And, um, yeah, it was, I made sure to take extra care of him after that day. Because I did not want to lose him again. Um... But thank God he can't come alive and run away from me. <laughs> um, who knows, maybe. Maybe they do. Um, so yeah, these were, these right here were like my favorite childhood toys. Um, actually all of these ones were very special to me. I, like I, they were so special to me that they're the non-Toy Story ones that I still kept to this day. Because... Um, I love them. Now, yeah, one other toy I had was, um, I had a Bart and Homer Simpson, but I kind of got them when I was older, but, like, not much older. Like, I got them in fifth grade when I was getting into the Simpsons, but I was in, like, fifth grade. I mean, I would have, like, a little bit of playtime, but not, like, not that much. Um, I just kind of, I started becoming a collector in fifth grade, and in fifth grade, I, like, was that was I was in fifth grade when Guardians of the Galaxy came out, 
So I started getting really into music because I really liked the soundtrack from that movie. So, well, really, that's about it. This is my review on toys I owned when I was a kid. I'm uh, happy I fin was finally able to show you guys these because I've been wanting to do a video on just myself on this channel. So, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe. Let me know what your favorite toy that I played with when I was a kid is. And, um, yeah, I feel bad for these guys because they don't get played with anymore. And just kind of sit there in my collection of memories. <laughs> and, well, memories to last forever. See you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.